What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys the best way to be an efficient post scorer right off the bat. So like if you've never made a post score before, you can be good. Like this is my first year ever having post scoring in my archetype and I feel like some of the moves I can do are pretty good and pretty effective against defenders. So before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's get into the video. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys some park clips that I've gotten over the past three days. So in this clip right here, I'm on the fast break and they're going to expect me to drive. So what I did right here was just a simple post fade. Right here, you can see me driving and the guy in the paint thought that I was going to keep driving. So he actually jumped and right after that is when I do the post fade when he's in the air. So for post fades, you have to make people think that you're going to drive and then you have to just fake them out and the fade will create you a ton of space. In this play right here, I basically did the same thing. I started to post up on this guy. He thought I was gonna take him down into the paint, but actually what I did was a post fade. So when I got the ball, I just held L2 to post up, and then he thought I was gonna do a post spin or a drop step or something. And when you see somebody either put their hands up or jump, you can do a post fade and create a ton of space because this year when somebody puts their hand up, they can't really move around. Like lateral quickness was kind of nerfed, so that when somebody's putting their hands up, they can't shuffle fast at all. Right here, this is another example of me doing a post fade when this guy put his hands up. And once again, lateral quickness has been nerfed. So if you take a post fade when your defender has his hands up, you're gonna create a lot of space. This move right here is super overpowered once you get it down. As you can see, I just did a hop step and created so much space away from my defender. So for this post hop step, what you want to do is move your L stick away from the defender. So I move mine to the left and then you tap square and it makes you jump. And right after you jump, you just hold square and your bar should come up and you'll be able to shoot a wide open jumper. Also, I was in such a good position right here that I could have held the left analog stick down and to the right. So like down and to the right diagonal. And I could have done the post hop step in that direction to get space too. So when you're doing this move, there's not a specific thing you have to do. You just have to hop to wherever there's an open space on the floor. So this move right here, I'm not 100% sure what it's called, but I just call it a reverse post spin. So normally to do a post spin, I would just turn my right analog stick counterclockwise. But in this case, I turned it clockwise. And as you can see, I ran right past my defender. He jumped and I actually have bronze relentless finisher. So I went up with the layup and got a green release. So in this clip right here, you can see I just posted up my defender and just did a drop step on him. And I faked him out after I did that to get him to jump. And then I got a really easy layup. So if you're on the left side of the court, like I am in this clip, you're just gonna wanna post up your defender and you wanna move the left analog stick up and press square. And then right after you do a drop step, you can either put the ball right up you can get a fake since the defender will be behind you and he's probably going to want to jump. Or you could pass out to one of your teammates if a different defender decides to play help defense. That's going to be it for the video. If you guys have any questions on any of these moves, make sure to comment down below. And also, if you guys want me to make an advanced post tutorial, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.